Welcome back to Adaptive Humanity. Where we dare you to adventure beyond your limitations. Hello from Hot Springs, Arkansas, and this is our official review of Catherine's Landing RV Park. Let's check it out. Let's go. So the folks here at Catherine's Landing were so nice and they gave us private access to their yurts and what they call cabins, but they are really tiny homes. So I can't wait for you guys to see that, but we're headed. Yurt number seven. What do you guys say this is cool because it's got its own little deck area. It's set back into the woods a little bit. It's got a picnic table too. Oh, and fire pit, and a grill. So we have not seen inside of one of these yet. So you're gonna get to see it same time we get to see it for the first time. Hopefully it's pretty cool. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. How neat. Look, a mini split. Look at how luxurious it kind of looks too, or they try to make it. Okay, so you get your own little mini kitchen, which includes a microwave, a coffee machine, and a mini fridge. That's a decent size. Bigger than a hotel room. Decent sized microwave. And they even provide you with some washcloths and some cleaning supplies for your dishes. And of course, coffee. Thank God they have coffee. So those of you that are not familiar with a mini split, we have them in our own home because it allows us to control temperature in every single room individually throughout the entire house. They also have one here. So it does air conditioning and heating. So it is 40 degrees outside right now and it is a comfortable 70 in here. This is awesome. First time I've ever seen that. So if you can't see it, it says a makeup remover and it's a black washcloth. I am super guilty of doing this everywhere I go. I use the white washcloths because that's all that they have. And then so they get black marks all over their white washcloths. It's not my fault. Should have thought of this. But this is awesome. Awesome. Great idea. So a yurt is basically a rigid structure tent. So technically you can say that you went tent camping, but it's really tent glamping because this is amazing. The structure inside of here, you have a skylight up there, a ceiling fan, and ample places to sleep. I was surprised. So you got the king bed. There is a set of what we think are full beds for bunk beds. And then the futon over here that will fold down into another, what I believe is a full size bed. So that's awesome. Because if you stack them in and you only do one in each full, that's three, four, five. So you fit a lot of people in here. One downfall to this yurt is there is no bathroom, but they do have a bathhouse that's 10 paces that way at the end of the deck. So it's easy access and they have laundry in there. So they do have a dining room. <laughs> right over here they have a table. There's only four chairs though, but I think that they're encouraging you to get outside so this is a perfect area to play games at night with your family right before bed. This place was a pleasant surprise. It's really done nice on the inside. So we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna head over to one of their tiny homes. Can't wait to see what's in store for us there. I am super excited to go in here. I have never been in a tiny home before, but I have a small obsession with them. So let's go check out this thing. Tiny home. Before we enter, I want you to see the little area outside. Picnic table and your own little grill. A little room for activities over here. 
a small yard for shenanigans. The one good thing about this tiny home is that area back here, it is a perfect spot that if you come with the kids, you can kick them out and put them in a tent out here and have the place to yourself. Let's go. It smells clean, actually. Are you ready, babe? So have we seen this yet? No, no. We're going in blind. As soon as you come in, you are greeted with a very wide open space. Love this layout. It's kind of like an open floor plan. So you have a TV and a pretty big size fireplace, which is excellent because it's freaking cold here if you couldn't tell by what we're wearing. And then next to it, you have plenty of seating room for the whole family. Look at this, extra blankies. Adjacent to the living room is your kitchen. Your kitchen has a bar. Would you call this a bar? There is not a dining room table, but I did find something. Sneakily hidden away, you have four dining room tables small individual dining room tables. So the kitchen does have a full setup. It has everything. It has a full size oven, uh, a five burner cooktop, and a full sized microwave. And all of the pantry space and cabinets galore. It even has a dishwasher. Ooh, these are dishes? Oh, Look at that. Toaster. <laughs> Some of them, but I'm sure there's some. Oh yeah, so it comes with all your dishes, cups, everything that you need, all your essential items, including a coffee machine. Yes. And an excellent sink. Moving on, unlike the yurt, these ones have bathroom. And it's pretty decent size. Look at that. The wow! The shower is good size. I mean, I'm 5'10", you know, I have plenty of room. Thumbs up on that one. So here's a shout out to our friend at Matt's RV Reviews. This toilet in this tiny home is a prime pooping position. Guess what? They have a full washer and dryer set up. And the drums are huge. Over here, they have space for things. And then you got your towels over here. All right, let's go to the bedroom. I love the light and the vaulted ceilings. They do have a TV in here, so when you're laying in bed and you just want to chill out. These are awesome. Everybody loves these little rolly doors. This looks like a queen size bed though. I would say queen. It's a queen. So they have an upstairs. Now, these steps are insane. Check it out. So to give you a scale, that's about what, nine inches? So this is probably, probably 10, inch, 10 step. inch steps. So be careful when you're drinking. Welcome to the staircase. Here we've got a couple of parents. This staircase is like a battleground swing state. It's not over till it's over. It's over. She has to accept it. It's warm. <laughs> so cute. I think it's adorable. Check out the this, balcony. I, I wish I had this when I was a kid. This is so cute. one. There's so much room for activities up here. This could be dangerous. Dangerously awesome. 
each site has its own picnic table. And adjacent to the picnic table, of course, is your grill. And each site also has a fire pit. So where do you plug your shit in? I'll show you. 50 amp, 30 amp, 110 breakers. And there are lights that come on at night. So that way, if you come in late, you can see what the hell you're doing. Right next to that, you got your water. Fair warning, water pressure is a little bit low here. And your shit disposal. This place is freaking massive. So we're gonna show you it on some scooters. How did I get up here, you might ask? Well, this place is ADA compliant, so they have ramps everywhere. This place has the cutest pavilion with a bunch of wooden chairs right in front of a pond for your viewing pleasure. Sure is a nice rocking chair. That sure is a nice pond, but let's go check out those bathhouses and laundry. All right, let's check out the laundry room. Automatic lights come on. You have three washers, three dryers. Bathrooms. You want to talk about bathrooms? This place has got some nice ones. So they have three showers, all three handicap accessible. They also have a handicap accessible stall. Okay, so their facilities are nice. They are 100% handicap accessible. One problem, we are on what they call the new side of the facility. There's about 100 sites over here and four cabins. They have one set of washrooms and a laundry room here with three washers, three dryers. And this place fills up. It was crazy packed on Thanksgiving when we came in. So you can just imagine how much you're gonna be fighting if you need to get in the shower or need to use a stall, especially that laundry. Privacy sites 270 through 275, I believe it is. Every last one of them is back in and it backs straight into the woods. So if you're looking for privacy and you don't want any neighbors, those are the sites you want. They have a dog park. Not only do they have one dog park, but they have two. The other one is much smaller, but this one is where it's at. Plenty of room for your dog to roam. Looking for a little adventure in your stay? They got it for you. They have a full high ropes and zip line course here. It's not that bad priced either. Might want to check it out. Your playground's closed. But when it is open, it's pretty legit. Sorry, no creepy girl on a swing in today's episode. Maybe next time. This looks pretty freaking cool. If I was a little kid, or maybe now, I'd be all about this in the summertime. I think water comes out of the ground and it's all just like, wah, craziness. Welcome to the Splash Park. It's called Splash Park, guys. What is this? We've heard rumors, and today is the day we get to see it. Let's go. <laughs> I had no idea what I was expecting. <laughs> okay. It's like a real dog wash. Well, really what they did was convert a shower and put, a, put this in there. So right next to your dog wash and your splash park, they have a pool, and it is a good size pool. It is handicap accessible, downfall, no chair lift. So, you're gonna have to do the scoot or somebody's gonna have to carry you like a backpack. And this is the dog park on the other side. 
Another thing I wanted to add is they have a bunch of doggy bags scattered around the whole entire RV campground. Thank you. And this is the laundry and the bath on the other side as well. Not only do they have the zip line course, but if you want to get in the water, they have boat rentals, including kayaks and pontoon boats. And they also have docks available to rent, plus a boat launch. Celebrating something while you're here? Perfect place. This pavilion area is free to use for anybody who's staying here. Um, I don't know if you have to sign in for like reserve it or not. Uh, I'll, I'll find out and I'll put that down in the description. But this thing is massive. They have a couple sinks, prep areas, and it also has full bath houses inside of here. And again, 100% handicap accessible. Need to get yourself some propane. Got you right here. This place is freaking huge. Don't feel like walking it, no problem. Make sure you rent your golf cart. Upon arrival, they have multiple designated spots for you to park your rig so that you can go inside and do all your little paperwork. Or if you're late, then they have a special spot for you. If you're late, that's okay. They'll have all your information posted up on this board. The main office in this place is pretty impressive. They have a good stock of stuff, especially a lot of their own t-shirts because everybody needs a t-shirt. says Catherine's Landing on it. Let's go check it out. Yes. All right, ready? These couches are comfy. Mm-hmm. So good. Kid approved? Yep. All right. I guess she's ready. All right, so final thoughts on this place, and I'm gonna start this off by reading disclaimers. So I have to go for a piece of paper because there's a bunch of prices on this thing. So back in sight, not including the waterfront back in sights, but it also includes the really secluded sites that we mentioned earlier. Uh, nightly is 55 to 70, weekly 300 to 370, or monthly 700. Uh, the pull through sites in which we are in now, uh, they are 65 to 80, weekly 380 to 450, monthly 800. Then you got your waterfront sites, which are all back in, no pull throughs next to the water. They're 80 to 95 a night or 435 to 505 a week. No month on those. This place is hella expensive for places that we have stayed. They have their tiny homes here, uh, which are nightly 175 to 200 for no loft. And the one that we went through that did have the loft, that one is anywhere from 200 to 225, the yurts. So they range from, depending on how big of a yurt you're gonna get, from 95 to 165 a night. But you can go from a four person yurt all the way up to 12 person yurt. So 12 person yurts on the higher end of that, but I mean, that's a lot of people. So if you break that nightly cost down of 165 between, you know, 12 people or whatever, yeah. it, it ends up being pretty decent, I think. Here's the fine print. All the RV sites are based. Hello. <laughs> so here's the fine print. All the RV sites are based on two adults. So an average family, two adults, two kids, you're paying an extra $5 per child per night. So it's the standard rate plus that 10 bucks because you have two kids. So they charge you for your kids. Kids are not for sale. Yeah. I think it, I think that's absolutely insane because this is clearly a very family friendly campground. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's sneakily added and I don't like that part. It's not even on their price sheet. You don't know that until you go to make your reservation. See, that's the sneaky part so, that I'm not a fan of. 
I understand basing their tiny homes on a two person occupancy uh, and then, you know, charge an extra $5 for another two people. But the RV sites. Uh, Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. What are we talking about? That being said, we, I, I love the play. I love I it. I am actually kind of sad that we're leaving. I feel like this is a cool spot. I could chill here for a month. And we've been here when the place was absolutely packed. But it was still fun. It was full of all this energy, like all of the positive family, all the kids were running around with other park kids. And, and it, the sites here are huge. You have tons of space. So much room for activities. But I mean, you pay for what you get, so. You could possibly just never leave. Here's the other thing. It is in a fantastic location. You're not far from everything that's in Hot Spring. And as you noticed uh, in the drone footage and the footage down when we showed you guys the boat ramp, it's like, it looks sketch. But what happened is in the fall, they dropped the water level. So that is why it is so low right now. It is actually about 10 foot higher than what it is now. So that way the residents can repair their docks and their seawalls and not have to go through the expense of damming it off themselves. I had no idea. Thanks, damn people. <laughs> so zip lines are open. Boat rentals are closed right now. Well, obviously, because the lake level is so low. Uh, zip lines, you have to make an appointment. It's not just first come, first serve basis. And down in the description of this video, I will put all the information, including the prices for everything that we went over and all the prices for the boat rental and the zip line. On, on this piece of paper, and there's a sign on the front of the building that says bike rentals. And on this piece of paper, it has bike rental prices. So you can rent a bike. However, we did not see any bikes. And also, I don't know what kind of bikes they are. They better be e-bikes. Prices on bike rentals is 20 bucks for three hours or $33 for six hours. What? I didn't <laughs> actually look at those. <laughs> that is why we did not see any. That's insane. So their firewood here, I bought some bundles when we first got here. They keep it inside of the main office and it was wet. Just know that it is a possibility that if you get wood here, it is going to be wet. Um, there is another gentleman that does deliver wood here. It is a lot cheaper than getting the bundles up at the office. Just remember that. I have to say that this place is the most ADA compliant overall so far. Only give it that because they have all paved streets and then concrete pads, but they didn't have a chairlift going into the pool. So minus the pool, everything else is excellent. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is the most friendly. This is the most yeah. chair friendly place that oh we gosh. have we have been. Yeah. All right, well that wraps it up for Catherine's Landing RV Park. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, press that bell so every time we do an RV park review, you get notified. And don't forget to share, because sharing's caring. Share it. Share it. <laughs> share it with your friends. All right, guys, we're going to get a fire started. We'll catch you next time. Bye.